हेलो फ्रेंड्स बी एम एस के यूट्यूब चैनल के आज के अपने इस वीडियो में मैं इमरान अहमद आप सभी का स्वागत करता हूं दोस्तों मैं उम्मीद करता हूं आप सभी अच्छे होंगे दोस्तों अगर अभी तक आपने हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल पी एम एस को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो कृपया चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेलाइकन को दबाएँ जिससे हमारे द्वारा दी गई वीडियो आप तक आसानी से पहुँच सके और हाँ दोस्तों हमारे फेसबुक पेज इंस्टाग्राम पेज और टेलीग्राम चैनल से जुड़ना ना भूलें हमें सर्च करें बी एम This video is presented by Dr. Khushboo Misra. Please do like, comment and share with your friends. Hello friends. I am Dr. Khushboo Misra and today we going to discuss on topic crickets. So, let's start. Now, in introduction we are going to see what is crickets. So, crickets is a common disease in children between 3 to 18 months of age. so those children who are between 3 months of age to 18 months of age in those children we can oftenly see this rickets disease it is a serious condition and it can be prevented that means it is one of the serious medical condition but however it can actually be prevented by taking proper preventive measures now what is rickets that we are going to see so rickets is a disease of bones that means it is bone related disease occurring in children which are caused by vitamin d phosphorus and calcium deficiency so it is oftenly caused by low intake of vitamin d calcium as well as phosphorus source those sources which are rich in vitamin d phosphorus and calcium now what is the result of rickets it leads to softer weaker bones that are abnormally structured or fractured easily that means because of this condition the bones become weak as well as it becomes softer and that may lead to abnormal structure of the bones that means what is a proper structure of the bones that will get affected because of this condition as well as the bones get fractured very easily so this was what is rickets now who are at risk of getting the rickets that means in those babies who are between the 6 and 36 months of age that means those particularly babies who are between 6 to 36 months of age in those babies we can often find this disease occurring in them second is malnourished children that means if the children are not given proper amount of nutrition in those children can also uh, this rickets can be seen children who are less exposed to sunlight and have light skin tone that means if the children is not given proper amount of exposure to the sunlight every day on the daily basis as well as who have lighter skin tone in those children also you can often find this disease occurring children with primarily vegetarian diet that means if the children are not given proper amount of um, sources rich in vitamin d in those children also you can see this uh, rickets disease because often the sources of vitamin d is from the non vegetarian diet like mi- milk uh, egg as well as meat so if the children are not given uh, non vegetarian diet or sources rich in vitamin uh, d phosphorus as well as uh, calcium so in those children also you can see this rickets disease children who have zero intake of dairy products that means those children who do not like uh, milk as well as uh, milk products and who uh, do not take this milk and uh, milk products in those children also you can often find this rickets disease children with genetic kidney disorders so those children who have some kidney related disorders that will actually prevent them from phosphorus absorption because kidney is a main source of the phosphorus absorption so if there is some kidney related disorder so so the phosphorus absorption will get absor- will get affected that will lead to rickets disorder now what are the causes of the rickets in the children so rickets is mainly caused by insufficient amount of vitamin d dietary calcium and phosphates as well as both vitamin d and calcium deficiency so if the food uh, sources rich in vitamin d phosphates and calciums are not given to the children so that may lead to rickets disorder in the children symptoms of the rickets that means if the child is suffering from the rickets what conditions or what symptoms can be uh, can we see in the children first is tenderness or pain in the bone that means uh, children will be often complaining about the pain in the bone that because bones become very weak and they become very tender because of which there will be often pain in the bone seen in the children short stretch or stunted growth that means height of the baby won't grow to normal level 
the uh, children will remain stunted for the life long weaker bones that fracture easily that means bones will get brittle and they will often uh, get fractured very easily then muscle cramps scissors delayed formation of the teeth so uh, teeth formation will also get affected in the children enamel erosion that means uh, enamel will get corroded it will often break off very easily tooth defects that will uh, there will be some defects related to tooth large number of cavities will also be seen in the children who are suffering from rickets abscesses as well as skeletal deformities that means there will be some skeletal uh, disorders such as bow legs now what is bow legs legs that look curved like bow that means there will be uh, abnormality of the leg bones that means what is the actual structure of the bones of the leg that uh, will not be seen in the rickets patient there will be bow shaped bones of the leg in the children and oddly shaped skull skull will also get uh, enlarged or it will look very much oddly protruding breast bone that means breast bone of the children will protrude outwards it will have outward appearance thickened ankles and legs so ankles and wrist that means ankles and wrist uh, they will be thickened and bumps in the rib cage are some of the symptoms seen in the rickets now we are going to discuss uh, what is treatment of these rickets so we have already discussed what are the causes so in order to prevent the causes uh, what we what we do in the treatment is give all those uh, deficiency treatments first is intake of the foods rich in vitamin d and calcium that means all the foods which are rich in vitamin d and calcium are provided to the children in order to treat the rickets disorder intake of the vitamin d and calcium supplements so along with the food supplements are also given which are rich in vitamin d and calcium administration of vitamin d injections at regular intervals so vitamin d injections are provided to the children exposure to the sunlight that means each and every interval of time uh, children are should be taken to the sunlight exposure sunbath should be given to the children because ultimately the sunlight is a ma major source of vitamin d if rickets is complication of some medical condition treating the underlying condition can actually resolve the rickets that means if rickets has occurred because of some complication so that complication uh, can be treated by treating the medical conditions phosphate and calcium supplements should be given to the children because phosphate and calcium can also lead to uh, rickets so phosphate and calcium supplements along with food rich in phosphorus and calcium should be given to the child corrective surgery for deformities bones or uh, bones and spines that means ultimately if the uh, bones and spines have become uh, deformed so corrective surgery should be given for the deformity of bones and spines how can you actually prevent uh, this rickets first is daily exposure to sunlight so baby should be taken to sunlight every day taking daily 10 mcg of vitamin d that means daily the child should be given 10 micrograms of vitamin d tablets in order to prevent this uh, rickets disease foods rich in vitamin d and phosphate should also be given to the children in order to tackle with the uh, rickets and uh, pregnant and breastfeeding women should take supplements of vitamin d so those women who are already pregnant and breastfeeding women in those women's vitamin d supplement should be given so that in order to avoid the rickets condition in the babies so this was all about rickets till then keep liking sharing and subscribing our channel for more videos keep supporting our channel thank you so much